So I'm thinking of doing uh, some sort of golfing activity. So I picked up this pair for, I think it was 60 pounds. So it can't go wrong for that price. And even if I don't keep them, I can sell them on. And I just want to see what the difference was as well from a, a Nike Golf Jordan 1 Low to a standard Jordan 1 Low. And this one's got kind of this crocodile material on here on the swoosh and the toe box and the heel area and the embroidered Air Jordan 1 logo which looks really cool and the outsole is obviously different so it's got at the same radial pattern on there however it's slightly more sort of raised to kind of mimic almost like a, a, a AstroTurf football boot and it should work well sort of on the green and yeah this is a kind of pair i just want sort of a black pair to kind of wear if i start to look at going golfing so probably during the summertime but i think this is probably the pair to kind of have i was looking at the other kind of golf shoes like an air max one or whatever what have you but i think this one's going to be more sort of hard wearing and probably more easier to rock and i also noticed it comes with an extra pair of laces which is quite cool so it comes with the grey pair and I might actually put those in and probably offset it against it quite nicely. But overall, just a standard sort of drawn one really, not much to say apart from that. So here's the details with the Air Jordan 1 Low G Black Iron Grey. It comes in a black, black, iron grey and white colourway. And it has a EVA cup sole with the airbag unit in the heel. And it's uh, predominantly made of all leather construction. And the price was £135. In terms of comfort and sizing, it, this is, feels like much like any other Jordan 1 Low, apart from the outsole itself, which is a bit more elevated. And uh, so you're not going to get too much comfort. It's on the sort of firmer side, and the insole provides most of the cushioning. And for that reason, they can get fatiguing after a while because of the hard sole. And because it being a flat trainer, there isn't much support around the arch either, so you're not going to get too much of that. And the wearing time for these, I'd say probably around sort of four to eight hours. Because it's a low, it should be a quicker sort of wearing time. And and the leather quality is a bit more stiffer than usual, so you might need to yeah just take a bit of time with the, with this particular pair. And I recommend for sort of wide fitters to go up half size, which is what I normally do, especially if you wear sort of thicker socks. And uh, I think they have great grip for golfing. With regards to the look and style, uh, it's an old black sneaker, so it's perfect for something like uh, golfing, especially because you're going to get them dirty, I suppose, and being around on the turf. And because they're sort of made for golfing, I'd probably mainly sort of wear them in that sort of area really. I wouldn't really be rocking them casually. I just don't think it's that kind of, the, the outside just looks a bit too strange for wearing casually. And because it's a golfing trainer and adapted for that, you're obviously going to be going to the golfing course. So you can sort of dress, you know, you'll be dressing, I guess, casual and sort of, sort of to the smart casual end. And it comes with both black and grey laces, so that should work really nicely. And maybe you can even potentially put in sale if you wanted to, but obviously if you're using it for golf, there's no point you go with the black or grey. So final thoughts, I think the uh, they'll be great for golfing, so the outsole on there is very sort of grippy. I like the embroidered wings logo as well, it's really nice. And the, the, like I said, the raised outsole is uh, perfect for, for golfing and being on the green. And the cons are the costs, so the costs are really high on these. I picked mine up for, I think it was £60, but I wouldn't be paying uh, the £130 or whatever the price was. It's just too expensive. And the faux sort of crocodile skin, I'm not too much of a fan of that, but because I picked these up for cheap and it's just an all black sneaker, it's good for kind of any sort of sportswear. And the ratings, I give the looking style like a 4 out of 5. It's a nice uh, looking sneaker. It's not amazing, but it's uh, generally a black Jordan 1 low, so you can't really do, you can't really go wrong with that. And the comfort, I give it a 3 out of 5. It's very standard stuff. And the quality, I give it a 4. It's a, a nice sneaker, and the, the leather quality isn't uh, amazing. And the pricing, I give that a 4. It's just priced too high, in my opinion.
But overall, it's a solid uh, golfing shoe, shoe and I give it a, a four out of five. I think it would do really well on the golf course and be sort of quite uh, versatile and also hard wearing because of the leather upper and the, the outside itself. Uh, I wouldn't really be wearing, uh, say, an Air Max Golf version for golfing as an example.